Oh, what's up? We're back on the Fashion Week pod, and this is episode two of our MC. Oh, oh no, no, they, they didn't. didn't. Okay, la. hey, I know. I, I gotta think... say first, huh? your house is very nice. Huh? Uh, How come you never invite me to hey, your thank house? Thank you, huh? thank you. <laughs> There's nothing here, bro. It's very empty. It's got dead plants. See, got I plant. got one dead plant there. <laughs> <laughs> I got another dead plant behind me. Why do you have to you kill know, plants, bro? My house looks. My house looks like it's winter time, bro. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, uh, dude, it's back, man. We are, we're two episodes per week. That's what we're doing right now. Fucking because, Rajin, uh, right. We're putting out very, very short episodes, right, Lucas? Yeah, man. Um, I, I have to say, man, Zoom is, uh, I think, by far the best, I guess, con, con call chat thingy. Wow, we're doing reviews now, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I record my morning show on hits via Skype and that's quite unstable. It's quite dark, right? And um, I don't know. What about Google Hangouts? I don't know. I haven't tried it. Maybe next episode, let's try Google Hangout. And then by the end of this MCO, we can tell people what's the best video conferencing software. We, we can be the reviewers. Oh of, yeah, uh, definitely. Video yeah. conferencing software. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a uh, few things that we want to talk about today. Of course, uh, okay, how has your MCO been since the last time I spoke to you? Oh, you mean like <laughs> since three days ago? Uh? Bro, uh, yeah, like, since three days ago. Well, yeah, hey, but then uh, I was I ordered something from Boozit like like one like one plus week ago. It didn't come, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh man? yeah, T- tell us about that. So you you were complaining hey. on Instagram. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I get the whole MCO thing, you know, people are locked down, all that, you know. But I think there's some leeway on on like your expectations as as a person. Like okay, you know, I'll give you a little bit of a chance. I wanted to support like local companies and stuff like that. But like there mm. is a point. Where it's like it just becomes bad custom service. There's n- like this MCO should not be like that. There, there shouldn't be any excuse for bad customer service. You know what I mean? So they like oh, you know, ghosted you know me funny? totally, though. Yeah. I never heard a booze it until I saw you post it up on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, they they only so the delivery company for booze lah for alcohol. Yep. And solely just booze. You cannot yeah, get anything yeah. else. So they that. get booze and, and, and stuff like that. So I guess they are the middleman between their suppliers and then they, they'll just have their stuff ready to order and then they'll fulfill it. Like, honestly, if you give me like maybe a three, four day delay, okay, I understand. That's like normal. I, I forgive you. Lah. But it's like nine, ten days. Yeah. Eh. Then like four days, they don't answer my, my messages. So I'm like, okay, lah, I, I think mm-hmm. it's a bit much. Lah. And then what's the best part is that in one day, right, Alex from uh, from Lucky Tora, right? Like he just put something up on, for sale, right? Like because he's clearing stock as well, lah. Because Lucky Tora has to to, mm-hmm. to to liquidate, right? And I said, okay, I'll take I a couple that, of your yeah. bottles, bro. Next day, already in my hands. So I told Buzi, wow. guys, like someone has fulfilled me in one day, so like just give me yeah. a refund, lah. So okay, thank God they refunded me. But the one lesson is that a lot of people are, are like struggling uh, for sure. And I, I like to cut people mm. some slack, but the MCO should yep. not be an, ex- uh, an excuse for bad customer service. Uh. Right, right. Big shout out to Go Lucky Tora though for yeah, coming through with their delivery. Very, Lucky very Tora. Very I, I really swift. hope like all their restaurants, that, that whole group like stays open. Like Lucky Tora, Pizza Mansion, you know, like uh, Fika. I hope they all stay open. I hope after MCO, everything is good. But you know what? Like, um, I just can't yeah. wait to go out and, like, support my friends again. La. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come, just go to the bar, solve everyone's problems. Out, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, exactly. so, yeah, I keep drinking high balls, high balls now, high balls. Thanks, thanks, Alex. Okay. If, if you guys have any more uh, delivery woes that you want to tell us about, you know, you can yeah, man. send us a DM. Yeah, <laughs> man. Complain about it. Because <laughs> it seems like all we do now on this show is complain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, I'm born to complain, man. I don't know if you've been listening to all yeah. of our podcasts, but yeah. <laughs> How about you? Like, have okay. you been ordering like Grab and shit like that? How has the experience been for you? Um, I actually haven't done delivery in the last couple of days mm. because I went on a crazy uh grocery spree recently. <laughs> so there's a the, my fridge is like full. I just need to finish up the food in my fridge and then and then we'll talk about delivery. Wow. Like, you know, um, in terms of alcohol, I I'm okay. I've I've gone out to village grocer to buy my alcohol. Yeah, but, it's expensive uh, I though. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, um, I, I, I go Lucky Tora. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, yeah, yeah, try the service up. soon. 
yeah, yeah, get some whiskey or something. He still has quite a bit, lah. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's get on to uh, something that we need to address. Okay, yeah. uh, Lucas, you brought this up to me a few days ago. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously. For, for, for those who are not in tune um, during this MCO, now that it's been tightened yeah. uh, for our last two weeks, um, they, they are starting to arrest or detain people who are out jogging and walking in the park. So apparently, you can't even do that now, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was thinking right the other day, I was like, is it actually so bad if somebody decides to go for a walk in the park, let's just say, uh, mother, you are not doing this, I know, but you, my mom wants to go walk across to Desa Park City, just walk one round, not touch anybody, yeah. not touch anything, and then come back mm. one to her house. Is that so bad? Mm. Because that's not allowed at the moment. What do you think, Arno? I... Honestly, I wanted to go for a few runs just around the neighbourhood, right? Yep. I mean, just around this area. But... After hearing that that these uh, there, there there were a few people in Monkara, especially the Monkara area, yeah, getting yeah. detained or arrested. I don't know what the right word is: detained or arrested, scolded for being out, scolded <laughs> so for being what? Scolded, scolded, scolded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, dude, but they were they were actually taken away, right? They were taken the somewhere, pe- right? The Penang dude was taken away because he was cussing the police out and, or something like that, lah. Okay, that one you deserve it, <laughs> yeah, I mean, la. That one is just ru- that one is just running your mouth and being yeah, stupid, man. right? And I think yes, speaking detained. speaking of that, yeah, detained. Yeah. So speaking of that, there was this other lady, this forty-four year old lady I saw on the news today. She was also, uh, you know, arrested for cussing out the cops, calling them idiots. Yeah, 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 and the roadblock, right? Yeah, correct. In uh, Pasaran Surya near the curve. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, there's a there's a full story on that. I'm not gonna get straight into that, but I think if you are going out there and cussing out the cops because they are inconveniencing you. That's just plain stupid, lah. I think yeah, that's, yeah, you're you asking it. for it then. You definitely deserve yeah, because, it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, these guys don't want to be out there. They're not out there voluntarily. They are out there because, you know, they're trying to help the rest of us out, right? Yeah, and do their job, right? Yeah. But okay, back to the joggers then. So, I think that... Do you think that's a bit extreme that they got detained and arrested? Ooh. Unpopular opinion, uh, Unpopular opinion here. I think mm. it is quite extreme that we are not ev- people are not even allowed. I know it's like uh, I know why, but I think it's a bit extreme yeah. that people are not even allowed. Even like you say in my condo, right? You're not even allowed in the public areas, the, in the pr- like public areas within the condo. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like you're not allowed to so walk you- around in the in the condo grounds and stuff like that. They'll tell you to go upstairs and stuff. And like to to expand a little bit, like even in parks, right? Parks are all closed, but. Okay, mm. this COVID-19 thing, I'm no expert. I'm not a health guy. Like, it's not an airborne disease, dude. Like, it's literally on surfaces. If I'm running, jog, mm. jog, 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 run one round and come back home, I'm not touching anything, man. So, yeah. <laughs> like, I, very little... <laughs> no, if you yeah. wear a mask, you have very little chance to, like, cough on somebody. Let's just say you practice social distancing, like, even in a pub. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. what's so bad about that? Okay, okay. So, okay, back to your condo. So, are people allowed to go swimming even? No, Not dude. Even close. Go swimming. Yeah. Yeah, swimming pools are yeah. closed. Yeah, producer wrote a song closed, called obviously. The Pool is Closed, bro. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. So to counter your argument to that, yes, I agree. It's not an airborne disease. Again, we are no experts. Yep. Um, but it's not an airborne disease, and yeah, social distancing and all that. But you think about this: if everybody thought the same way, and you know, fifteen of the same people wanted to go down and go jogging at the same time, then it's going to be the same thing. What? Yep. So I, I think in a way, at the moment, especially now. I think the best way is just to just to stay your stay your ass at home, lah. Stay at you home. know what I mean. So I think that's what the cops are implying. I think they know that it's not an airborne disease. But if you get fifty or hundred people thinking the same way and everybody's going out jogging, then there's not much distancing, really, right? That being said, uh, I saw like I was coming back from one of the grocery runs, you know, fucking a lot of groceries, you know, because like the head of the house has to buy, and then you know we buy once a week, and then it's like it's crazy, right? I came back, right? right. And there's these two fucking matzales inside my parking lot, running around the parking lot, dude. <laughs> one was on the bicycle, I, one was running. I was like, yo, what the fuck, man? Like, yeah. Uh, white tees, I, man. I, 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 see some, I see some people in my apartment running around the parking lot. Because there's, there's no way else you can go. <laughs> you run around the table right? in your house, uh, bro. 
Left to right, left to right. <laughs> have you done any workouts at home? Yeah, bro. I, I, I like did like this week, like the what MCO the week two, no. MCO week one, yes. Uh. I'm going to get back on it this week because I'm feeling really sluggish. Like honestly, okay. every single day, right? I feel like so like tired from doing nothing. Do you feel that yeah. at all? But okay, you work lah. So I guess maybe not lah. But I'm like, yeah, oh yeah. I mean, for, uh, for me, I get up in the morning and I'm recording my show for, you know, uh, hits and uh, we normally done about two o'clock. So, yeah. so, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I, it's frustrating. I, I'd rather go back to work, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too, man. Because I... I'd I, rather just... Yeah. I, I, I don't know, like, I cannot say anything. Like, I, not like I have a job, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the that, worst that time true. to be fun employed, bro. <laughs> It's fun employed. Well, which is why, you know, we are doing this podcast. You've got yeah. plenty of time. <laughs> In hopes of Uniqlo, whoever, you're working from home. I know you're watching this too. Please sponsor <laughs> us. I need more underwear okay. to rotate. Uh, okay, that's our bit for the MCO today. Okay, let's get into fashion, shall we? Yeah, I mean, people still think we are fashion podcast at the end of the day, lah, right? So, might as well. Yeah, yeah. we we gotta, we, gotta we keep to the theme. That we are you keeping know? up with the news, lah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep to the title. Okay, I think uh, two very big collabs dropped recently and we uh, we have to talk about it. Yeah, Let's man. start with Palace and Evisu Jeans. Wow, yeah. I haven't heard, I haven't said that name in a long, Did you fucking long, expect long that, Arnold? Did you expect that? No, honestly, okay. But you see, here's the thing, right? I, I'm a, I will say that I'm a Palace fanboy. Yep. Um, I'm Palace, Palace over Supreme any yep. day, right? Or um, you lah. It, and... Yeah, for me lah. And I really... Here's the thing about Palace though. They always do collaborations that you don't expect. Yep. So it's um, it, it's pretty cool to see Palace Ivisu. I Honestly, I didn't see it coming at all. And I honestly thought that Ivisu was not even around anymore as a brand. Yeah, I thought it was did, dead. Eh? Did you... Yeah, did you know that it was around? No, bro. Like I didn't know it was active. I'm pretty sure there are still stuff like banging around. Maybe it's more active in Japan. But no, man, I yep. did not expect this. I did not see this coming. And to be honest with you, I saw the collection. And I was like, okay, uh, Palace could have done much better. <laughs> this is quite shit, lah, bro. Like, let's be honest here. It's damn lazy. It's like something Supreme would do. Agreed. Bro. Okay, agreed. I am looking at it right now yep. on uh, Hype Beast. You see the tote, so they like, have the jackets the, the denim and the totes jacket. with all yep. the, like, the squiggles. I'm like, yo, this is like, this is like, when you first discover yeah. cut and paste in Photoshop and you just cut and paste things, yeah, that's what it is, man. I'm going to put a fuck <laughs> lot of pe- pockets on your fucking jacket, dude. I'm like, Palace are <laughs> like, okay. Visu already is so noisy because so big, you know, their logo. Or even even their Very loud. Big. And Palace is not that yeah. loud as a, as a brand. Like, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't consider them really loud. And then to merge it like this, I okay. was like, oh, this is a little bit bad. The only thing that I would consider would probably be I'm actually really into that navy, that navy like uh, crew neck. I like that navy and yep. yellow is always such a nice combination. But other navy than, and yellow, yeah. But other yep. than that, right? Man, it's ugly, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry, okay, lah. Okay, so ugly as shit. For, really. for those of you watching this on YouTube, we're gonna put this on. Uh, we're gonna put the pictures of the collection up. You know, as we're talking about it. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. let me just run through the collection real quick, lah. Some of the pieces. Okay, yeah, so man. obviously we were just talking about the trucker jacket, the denim trucker jacket. Yeah. Which you know, if you can imagine the typical Levi's trucker jacket, it's in raw denim. Yeah. And it's got a lot of uh, jean pockets sewn onto it, and every jean pocket has that Ivisu, uh, iconic logo, that yeah, little man. like stripe. With the palace uh, words uh, uh, below it. Yeah, I don't fuck with so, that. So yeah, okay, yeah. The the honestly, the damn jacket looks a, a bit like early two thousands when billionaire boys club was big. Oh like, yeah, yeah. With the with the freaking right. Uh, yeah, the fox. Yeah, I agree with you. It's like ice cream shoes, right, billionaire maybe, boys club. Yeah, fuck. It's like big. yeah, correct. It more it looks more like that sort of era, right? And um. I don't know. I, I yeah, I'm not feeling it as well. But the other pieces, okay. I don't like the hoodies because of the the print coming down the side. But that's very Ivisu. Huh? That's very Ivisu. Don't you remember those, those jeans that are there on the butt? I, I, I think I know yeah. what you mean. I, I'm not feeling it, man. Especially the font. Like, yeah, the yeah. palace word in the Ivisu font is just... Uh, uh, ugly, and, it's, and it seems like there's only one logo for this collab, right? Yeah. So there's only one font. It's frustrating. So, um, okay, the crew next. Crew necks are okay. I fucks with them though. Yeah. Um, Actually, even the gray the and maroon, the, the cream and maroon one is quite nice. 
Yeah, the off like off white base, yeah, and yeah, yeah. like a maroon print, right? You should have okay, the, the head, jeans uh, are just ho- the the jeans are horrible. Yeah. I'll never wear that. Um, <laughs> I would love to see Arno <laughs> in a pair of fucking e- Palace Ibisu jeans, man. Someone straight cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we gotta put the pictures up here, man. Yeah, man okay, dude. what about the bucket, the denim bucket hat? I think, I think, I think bucket hats are like surely they've run their course already. Surely they have yeah. run their fucking course. Like, I mean, it had a good like <laughs> year. Like, I mean, it, everybody's doing bucket hats now. I mean, it was cool like last year. I, I'm getting sick mm, of it, mm. but I think these pocket things are more forgivable in the bucket hat than the jeans and the fucking jacket. That's all I gotta say, man. Oh. Okay. Like, at least okay. this bucket hat, I can put yes. like like weed, like a cigarette, like you know, my <laughs> keys and shit like that. Uh, the tote bag. How do you feel about tote bag? I don't know. I mix. La. I, I like tote bags. La, but if this is raw material, like raw denim material, it would transfer onto my clothes. La. I'm not wearing, I'm not carrying a fucking raw denim tote bag. La. That's for sure. Right, right. And it's, and, okay, yeah, so it's ugly. Let, let's talk about like Palace in, in, in general. Okay, yeah. What I like about them is, uh, you know, I think what they do very well is their promo videos. Every time yeah. they put out a collaboration or a new new season product yeah. or whatever, their videos are really, really good. Yep, yep, uh, yep. I think the, the ideas, right? I agree. Uh, what, what has been your favorite Palace collab? To be honest with you, Polo Law. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's okay. That. Besides the obvious lah. No, no. Besides Ralph Lauren, like, that was like one of the best. Adidas, no? Polo, Polo, and Adidas. I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because for me, uh, I like someone a uh, Reebok stuff. Hmm. Like which one? Reebok Classics. Um, they did a not the most recent one. I can't remember what that that shoe is called. Yeah. But they they did some like pretty simple ones lah. Like I think if I'm not mistaken, did they do a workout low or Reebok Classics workout low? Oh, did they? Low? Yeah. I wow. can't remember. I think you just like the silhouette, yep. right? Shit. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I'm 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 really feeling like Reebok Classics right now. It's very simple. <laughs> just uh, old, very classic. <laughs> it's a workout low. I, I think. Yeah. Hey, you wanna you wanna see how I'm rocking my mic right now? <laughs> <laughs> my mic is between, literally in between my legs. Yeah, so this I'm is sitting like, on the floor. The only fashion way you get to see the crotch of Arnold Lowe, man. Fuck. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for blessing uh, us. Okay. You're, you're most welcome. <laughs> Anything else from Palace you like, wanna honestly you know, chime I, in on? I am not so much of a Palace fan. I, I I acknowledge their existence. I don't mind the stuff that they do, but I know so little mm. about Palace. I only, that's why I only know the obvious ones. Right, right. Yeah, right. and fucking okay. honestly, okay, like yeah, the, the Palace Ralph Lauren thing blew my mind, bro. Like that, that, that like shit me up. Like straight up shit me up. Yeah, but if you think about it, like if you take Palace back to their early days as well, like the collaborations, they, they also they did like, uh, okay, so one of the best and so sought after the, they did a uh, England jersey, the mm. old in the ni- uh, 90s, the 1990s England England jersey. Mm. I think it was a collaboration with Umbro. Oh, when oh Umbro shit. used to produce uh, England jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. they did a version of that. That, that one's you. fire, man. It's so hard to get. Yeah. And then later on, yeah, with Adidas. Mm. I, I, remember, I remember I caught one of the, Palace Adidas uh, football jerseys. Yep. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That one I remember. Yeah, the old style one. Yeah, the 90s, it, 80s, 90s yeah. one, right? Fuck. Yeah, yeah it's a grey one. It comes in a set. But but back then, right, when I bought that, the yeah. Palace wasn't like what it is now. Yeah. You know, now it's like a really hype brand. Back then, it was just like a regular skate brand. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I copped it just like off the rack in, in an Australian skate shop in Melbourne, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but now, fuck man, it's gone the way of the hype beast, la, Palace, la, Supreme, yeah. Stussy, all these brands. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's because so, like okay. skate uh, is so deeply rooted into like street culture, right? So eventually, it's, everything's gonna be taken by the hype beast, la. Yeah, for sure. And you know, very soon, like Noah, you know, like yeah. you know, look at how what the direction Noah is going. Your right? beloved Noah. I, I don't. My beloved, no, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a hype beast brand at all. But it's, it will slowly become lah. Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. but anyway, since we, you mentioned Supreme, excuse me. Oh wow, <laughs> Jesus! Hey, just Sorry. because you're at home, uh, doesn't mean you can act <laughs> like a savage, huh? I just, I just had lunch, lah, bro. <laughs> um, so you're talking about Supreme? They also have a collaboration that they dropped yesterday. Yep. Which one are you talking about? I'll leave this to you. You are the supreme guy, bro. Hey, which one are you talking about? I, I wasn't prepared. I only saw a Lamborghini one. Lam- Lamborghini? Oh, yeah. 
I'm like, Yala. excuse me, what's going on here? <laughs> like honestly, Supreme Lamborghini. We're in a world where you can't ever tell what the fuck is gonna go on. You know who's gonna collab with what? Yeah. Like, did you ever think in your life there'll be like Supreme Lamborghini? I would have thought no, they would go Ferrari, man. Honestly, I think it's a stupid collab. Is that well, stupid? Well, I'll give you my, I'll give my thoughts later. You go first. <laughs> no, no, I, I think it's one of these things where like they are the kings of unnecessary collabs. You know, like they have some really fire collabs. I will tell you, like Supreme LV was amazing for me. Like it's not amazing in right. the sense that I will buy the shit out of it, but what it stood for was really amazing. So like Kim Jones when he was at fucking LV, right? Yeah, okay. Good shit. Mm -hmm. You know, like that was great. Yeah. That opened the fucking door. But other than that, all Kim, the other- like, Kim Jones. Yeah, the, the guy, not the girl. Huh? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so yeah, things I like- I only recently discovered it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> things like, uh, I guess their Castelli bicycle jersey. I'm like, that's so unnecessary, you know? But I, I don't yeah. know. Like, like Supreme for me, I enjoy, I enjoy their stuff. I'm not a huge okay. fanboy of Supreme. Like I have no like I, I like to go and see the stores. Sure, no. No, seriously. You shit. always wear Supreme lah. Yeah, bro. if I can cop at retail, I'll cop at retail. Like I won't like go out and buy like like a resale price crazy shit. I don't own a shit ton of box logos. I'm not yeah. that kind of guy yeah, because yeah. like to be honest with you, I'm not gonna pay that money for a box logo tea. You know, if you're yeah, gonna offer it to me for cheap, right? why not? You know, I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I try okay. and like I think Supreme has a lot of... It's like, okay, example, bring it back, right? They're talking about like the brick, Supreme brick. Yeah, what's the... Like, I mm. am in love with Supreme accessories. Not because mm. like they manufacture all this. They just get other people's stuff and they put their logo on it. Yeah, obviously, not, they're not going to manufacture lock cutters and all that. But they are the ones who are yep. going out there and saying like, hey, I want to put my name on lock cutters. I want to put my name on playing cards. Like Benoit balls, everything, bro. And I like that. Right. For me, that that is a, a cool <laughs> thing. You know, like, so, like, okay. I enjoy that part of it, but, you know, like... So you, wait, 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 wait. So you enjoy buying the unnecessary shit oh, yeah. that nobody needs Dude, with, a, have you with seen a Supreme my house? logo on it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally. Like, I think it's so okay. fucking extra, dude. And that's very me, yeah. la. you know? Like, I won't buy right. the brick, la, obviously, for fuck's sake. I won't buy the, like, you know, stuff like that. But, like, something, like, cool, like a, you know, the Chinese bowl and the chopstick and the spoon set? I'm like, yo, I need yes. to have that. That's fucking cool, dude. <laughs> like Supreme versions of okay. everyday stuff that I use. You know, like like a, 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 the, the box, the hard shell pelican box. Oh, fuck. I would love one of those. Mm. You know, water bottle. Why mm. not? You know, if I can get it for retail, I'll buy it. You know, I have all the Supreme okay. pens. Yeah, I know. We know that. <laughs> okay. Let's break down the collection real quick. So I'm looking at it right now on uh, High Snob. Um, I'm going to break down the pieces and yeah, of course yeah, yeah. again if you're listening to this and uh, you can go to our YouTube channel and watch the video yeah, yeah. we'll put some I pictures mean, up of the collection I mean YouTube is more popular now la. I think nobody's going to listen to the, listen to us talk only la. they like to see our faces yeah yep. during the time of the MCO yeah okay, man okay so uh, first things first is that, that fluorescent green <laughs> hooded jacket okay with the Lamborghini logo on the side it's so lazy it's, they're, they're, it's they're as basically just slapping on as someone who owns yeah. a Lambo bro yeah so okay let me get to that like, later okay so okay the, <laughs> there's, there's lazy, three different right. colours of the hooded jacket it's black red and green yep. none of which I will buy Obviously. I don't mind the the camp, the button down shirt though. <laughs> the the button down shirt. Are you serious? You know the black one? Are you serious? Yeah, the button down shirt. I oh. think that's the only piece in the collection that I will probably buy, like if oh you know, God. if I had the money or whatever. Oh, I would right? uh, the skate deck maybe. I don't know, man. Okay, then there's a there's a ice hockey jersey, which also <sighs> looks I think whatever. that's the nicest out of everything okay. here. Three different colours as well, black, um, yeah, orange. Because the orange, ice hockey jersey, green. right? The ice hockey jersey looks like yeah. it actually belongs, like it, the, the logo belongs there. Because you know, the ice hockey, like uh, team jerseys all have such a big logo. So it looks like it's correct. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think that's right, the nicest right. piece. But I'm like, the, the rest is uh, so shitty. The black and yellow one, la, I, I'll agree with the black and yellow one. Yeah, but yeah. Um, it looks, it, the Boston Bruins colorway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bruins or yeah. the Oilers, okay. I think. Uh, the Bruins la, the, yeah. the black and yellow, okay. black and yellow, black. Wow. Then there's a mechanic work jumpsuit in green, <laughs> and uh, black, it's black, like yeah, what yeah. the fuck? Well, like that's super random lah, right? Yeah, and yeah. And then um, Still yeah, dead. just the supreme black t-shirt 
yeah. with the Lamborghini logo at the back. Uh. Yeah. Right? And then the skateboard decks and some Beanie. beanies. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's my thing with like car brands, yeah. collabs, like collabs yeah, with yeah. car brands. Like, why? Why would you collab <laughs> with car brands? Like, okay, because they can. Would you? Uh, yeah, because you can. But like for a person, let's say me. Like, don't you think it's a bit posery if to wear like, oh, Lamborghini or whatever, when you don't even drive a Lamborghini, you know what I mean? <laughs> or like Puma, Porsche. Sure, let me get into my Vira when I, with my Puma, Porsche. <laughs> the shoes, shoes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, with a Bridgestone, you know what I mean? yeah. So, yeah, so I never, I don't, I don't think I've ever agreed with like, you know, automobile collabs because it's just very, it's an odd thing lah. You yeah, know, it's like those you know, like the Asmans they wear the Maserati shirts, like the Maserati pop up. <laughs> it's like polo not that they have Maseratis, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. I'm not calling anyone out. That's just my personal no, opinion. No, I agree right? with you. I agree with you. Car collabs are a little bit tough for me. Like I don't yeah. know any car collab or automotive collab that I would can get behind. Like usually it'd be yeah. like, hey, maybe it's like Proton. I don't know, maybe Proton or Mini, like not even not even a Pesa Mota Mini or what, like Proton or like Perdua. Mm. I don't know, man. It has to be really fucking nice, lah. But it's very really right, tough, lah. Right. It's very really tough. I know what you mean, lah. I it, agree with you. It is. However, however, oh my recently God. Ame Ame Leon Dor did the collaboration with Porsche. Fuck oh, you! You are drinking Kool Aid only, that- lah. <laughs> if it's not ALD, ALD, you coll- don't, you don't give a <laughs> shit, lah. If it's not ALD. Oh my god, but that collab is fire though. Dude, Come on, everything man. he's touching yeah. now is fucking fire, dude. Oh, fucking Teddy Santis. Yeah. You know what? Um, just to make myself feel better, I might just go and cop like his the old 997s he did. La. I'm just going to drop the money and just fucking oh. cop that shit. La. Oh, the ALD yeah, 997s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I th- the ones that uh, our good friend Gibo has, right? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, Gibo. Yeah, yeah, I love that <laughs> shout shit. Shout out Gibo. Yeah, shout out Gibo, man. Okay. Happy birthday. So, uh, so better collabs, like come on, Supreme. You can you can uh, Supreme doesn't have much to better, man. Supreme doesn't have to care. You know? That's they true. don't have to give a shit. Itch. They have that box logo, anything goes. Ah, m- while I have you here talking about Supreme, what do you think about the Supreme yeah. AF ones? Oh, uh actually let me let me pull up a picture. I haven't it's I just haven't really looked, an AF you know one I'm not an AF1 guy. With the Supreme on the back, back Oh, heel. with the Supreme logo on the, the quarter, side. Yeah. It's just a normal AF one. Yep. Lazy la, what the fuck? Bro, like really? I on a- that shit, I totally want a pair. Why? Beca- because it is what? not it is not gonna be exclusive piece, you know? It is constant restock. Okay, so, so it's basically, general release. right? This is like the supreme general release. It restocks frequently, so I don't know how frequently it's frequently lah. But if I can get one for like close to retail, I'll buy it, man. Like, why not? It's cool. So, oh, so it's becoming like an evergreen product. That's evergreen. Yeah, why not? Out. Right? If you can get it for close to retail of their retail price, maybe like plus twenty percent, plus thirty, plus forty percent, right? Something not too yeah. ridiculous. Why not? Right? Mm-hmm. I like it. I like the F one, yeah. uh, and I I like to have those lah. Like, I think it's about a grand now. Uh, on the resale market, but right. we we'll see la. I was hoping to get a pair in Japan, but you know what? COVID nineteen happened. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, okay. Next All up, right. we well, have I- the other uh, collab that dropped so like recently, last few days, is actually Nike and Stussy. This one's a, a bit of a smaller ah. one, bro. I, I I like to know yeah. what you think about it because I I I have a feeling I know what you think about it, la. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen uh, it okay so yeah I've seen it so you want to talk about the sneakers first or the let's talk about the, the clothes first la. okay the apparel I don't hate it okay yep. Um, it's just I mean it's just a sweatshirt a crew neck sweatshirt and some sweatpants yeah. right it's boring la, however basically. I feel like the yeah but I feel like the logo could have been done a little bit better though yeah. uh, I don't know that's just me no no like, I agree with you it's, it's a bit lazy yeah, the logo looks a bit lazy, but I, you know, I, I'm okay. I, I think if somebody were to give me the, the, the crew neck sweatshirt, I will wear it. Yeah, and yeah. I know um, Benjamin Teo yeah. is uh, <laughs> I, he was trying to get the, the Nikes to see collab, right? Yeah, yeah. Shout out Benjamin Teo from uh, yeah, from the threads. Yeah, wet for that <laughs> shit, man. I'm pretty sure he's like, yo, it's so road man, like, I think this this look as well, uh, you know, it's so fucking like I don't know. I I, I yeah. don't like the idea of like sweatpants and 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 and. The, the matching melange or matching like grey. I don't know. It's it's very... I, I f- but I, f- I feel like 
Susie and Nike have come up with better collabs, lah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, 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 I could be wrong. Have they? I, I, I mean, know. I mean, I, I, I still remember their F Sky Force eighty eight shoes, which was not bad. Mm. I copped that at Susie KL. Uh, yeah, yeah. La, And uh, well, obviously the SB Dunk lah, but I don't think that was an official collab. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm yeah. not too keen on it. Like tote bag potentially, but the right. shoes though, motherfucker, like. The the what's it called? The what's the what's the colorway called? The gray, basically the the light brown one, the wheat colored one. The the off yeah the wheat colored one. I so wait, we're we're talking about fucks so hard. What we that. what are we talking about? The current the current one, yeah. Nike collab yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah. the the okay. Spiridon. Collab. So it's the Spiridon cage, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so there's two colorways. One is like an off white color, and yeah. the other one is like a there's chrome and gray, and yep. looks like fucking ostentatious. Like, hi, Whoa. it's Chinese New Year. I'm wearing new shoes. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I went to shop yesterday. I'm wearing my Chinese New Year clothes. <laughs> um, bro, I think out of the two, I I like the the off white one. Yeah, man, it, it looks uh, good. That I personally color. wouldn't wear it. Oh, so nice. Personally, wouldn't wear it, but I feel like okay, like someone's style, someone who who's like who dresses like Benjamin Teo for Flex <laughs> MY. Oh, you miss Benjamin Teo, huh? Sh- this is his shit, lah, bro. He's like nice, he could definitely bro. pull this off. Would you, would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It is. It totally is. They should just call it the Stussy Nike Air Benjamin Teo. That's all, lah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yes. But yeah, not for me. But uh, I think if I had to pick out of the two, that would be the one. Lah. Yeah. So by the time this oh. releases. Uh, Nike Malaysia would have released their their stuff. I'm going. I'm definitely going for it. Like either one for me, one like either for me or for producer lah. We both love the shit out of that. Do you, pair. Do you think it's gonna sell out? Yeah, straight up. Like because oh, to see KL brought it in and it sold out like instant. Mm. So like everything, all the whole collection sold out. So yeah. Mm. That being mm. said, I'm still waiting okay. Nike for my uh, Air 2090s. Shit was like hey, stuck MCO in MCO lah. Give people in, chance lah. Stuck la, in okay. customs. It's okay. I understand. Not like I'm going anywhere. Not MCO, like I can wear them. Brother. Not like I can exactly. wear them. Exactly. But okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. 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 It's okay. Let's Go move. Ahead. Let's move on to. Uh, okay. We'll, let's quickly wrap this up. Um, we're gonna move on to the weakling topic of the day. <laughs> um, Azmana Arif. It's uh, Azman okay. Arif. Azmana. Oh, Az. <laughs> Azman Arif Azman tips on Arif. how to downsize a closet. You, you better take this on one, Arnold. <laughs> oh my god, this is tough, man. Azman Arif tips on how to downsize a closet. I wish I could show you my closet right now because it's not even a closet. If you can see in that little room in the back, there's a bed there, right? Yeah. And all the clothes sitting on it. That's my closet. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? I I don't have a cupboard, bro. All my Are all you my joking? clothes sit on that bed. Dude, so do that's you why I don't have any guests over because the I'll give you my rack. Is, uh, <laughs> occupied <laughs> by my clothes. Okay. How to downsize the clothes? Very simple. Uh, stop buying unnecessary <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> okay. And if you if you dress, I, I've recently t- taken to this. If you dress very simply, if you wear a lot of simple colors or a lot of plain stuff, then you won't find yourself running out of clothes to wear mm. during the week, right? Because if you wear more uniform stuff, then you can you can wear them again, but you pair them with other things and uh, nobody would even know that you're wearing the same t-shirt twice in a week or wearing the same Oxford shirt twice in a week, right? Nice, and I nice. think the same goes for pants and shoes. So How dare you, know, you? Make sure when you buy... <laughs> hey man, that's just that's just me. So whenever I buy like you know pants or shoes, I make sure I can pair them with something else or most of the other stuff that I have in my in my closet. Yeah. Then uh, then you don't buy so many things, lah. All you should just yeah. get sponsored by Uniqlo and just wear once, throw away, man. Fuck yeah! You don't have to keep it in your wardrobe. Oh, that's oh, that's a bit of a flex, lah. <laughs> wear once and throw away. <laughs> wear once and donate. Sorry, we're not in for non-sustainable disposal of clothes. Yes, yes. Lucas, Lucas, <laughs> wear once and throw away. Actually, yeah. I like the idea wow. uh, that was shared with by with us by Leo and Becca. Like, was it Leo and Becca who said like before they buy something, they will try and yep. sell something? Yeah, they'll get rid of yeah, something. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I yep. like that. I've been honestly mm. this MCO time I've been throwing shit away like nobody's business. I'm I'm about to like like run through my closet and see what's out of rotation now and possibly put them on, on carousel or something. So if you guys are all thicky boys, L size, M, L size, XL size, and some M size, 
you know, follow me. I might be putting some of my shit up on sale fucking cheap, including like pesto and mortar samples, by the way. Oh, wow. That's a flex, man. <laughs> samples. I I also don't have samples, Fuck bro. Fuck you lah. <laughs> oh, yo. Okay, yeah. all right. We're looking forward to your little carousel sale on Insta Story. Carousel. <laughs> I'm going to be a carousel entrepreneur, so us- motherfucker. <laughs> Asman Arif, I hope that um, answers your question. I Keep guess the question doesn't apply doesn't apply to Lucas because you know he <laughs> he hoards shit. I do, I do. I'm a hoarder. It is a problem. It is a sickness. Yeah. Almost as bad yes, as COVID nineteen. No man, don't be a hoarder, okay? <laughs> so yeah, keep those. Uh, if you have any questions at all, I mean we're no experts again. This is just our based off of our pure um, personal opinions. Yep. So um, yeah, keep the questions coming in, man. Send us a DM. Yeah, man, or whatever. Okay, Lucas, good. let's wrap this up, brother. Wrap it up. Damn, I gotta you know right. go and do my laundry now. Okay, okay, cool. Um, all right, this has been the Fashion Week Pod MCO edition. It's called MC. Oh, oh no, no, you they didn't. didn't. Oh, we didn't. didn't. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we didn't. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they didn't. Um, yeah. Again, this will keep going until everything goes back to normal and when it's safe to be around yep. each other again. So in the meantime, we just urge you to stay safe, stay home, stay the and, fuck uh, home. Please Exactly. And while you're bored at home, go check out our other episodes lah, okay? on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you consume your podcasts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just search up the Fashion Week, W-E-A-K, baby. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And um, yeah, let's wrap this up, man. You are? I am, I am tired, bro. <laughs> you're tired. I am tired, Just bro. Just plug la, I Instagram. Am, on, I am Lucas La, N-O-T-L-U-C-A-H-S. Yeah, and you can follow me as well on Instagram. It's at Anolo. And also follow us on Instagram. Send us DMs, answer our questions. We will see you in the next episode. Soon, very soon, because we are very bored. Okay, bye. The Fashion Week. The Fashion Week.